The comprehensive design review of the AMCA was expected to be completed in December 2021, and as per latest media reports, it is now more realistically targeted to be completed by the end of 2022. The Chief of Aeronautical Development Agency has said that the AMCA's stealth shaping had been completed, and its design is now mature, and its internal systems are laid out. The accord of the comprehensive design review in 2022 would clear the way for metal cutting, that will be the symbolic start of constructing the first flying prototype, and five prototypes will be built in a period of four years for a flight testing program, while the series production will start by 2028. He also said, that each F-414 engine generates a maximum thrust of 98 kN, which will degrade to 90 kN in Indian climatic conditions, and the twin F-414 engines are not enough to give super cruise capability to the AMCA in all configurations. The Air Force specified configuration of AMCA requires a total thrust of about 220 kN in Indian conditions for super cruise capability, and such an engine is not available currently. However, a group of DRDO laboratories led by the gas turbine research establishment is working to develop an AMCA engine, and they have generated a maximum thrust of 83 kN with the cavalry engine, and now the target is 50% higher. The DRDO is also expected to enter into a strategic partnership with the British firm Rolls-Royce in 2022, to jointly develop a new engine that will have a verified growth potential of 20%, which means that it will be around 140 kN class. In a significant development in the DRDO light tank program, Larsen and Tubro Limited has cleared the techno-commercial evaluation stage for the development of assembly test chassis and its related subsystems. It was reported earlier that the DRDO is working with Larsen and Tubro to reduce the weight of the 28-ton K9 Vajra chassis by 4 tons, that will bring the overall weight of the light tank to about 30 tons, that will allow the Vajra's 1000 horsepower engine to create sufficient mobility for the light tank even at higher altitudes. The DRDO and Larsen and Tubro have been able to accelerate the development because of Larsen and Tubro's experience in designing the future infantry combat vehicle, and many of the FICV features and technologies will be incorporated in the light tank, and the turret and the 105mm gun can also be produced in-house by the private sector firm. The Rafale fighter jet of the Indian Air Force has a better thrust-to-weight ratio than the Chinese J-10C that Pakistan is purchasing, which means that the Rafale is more agile, which is the deciding factor in visual range combat. The Rafale has a range of 3,700 km as compared to 1,850 km of the J-10C. The Mika IR missile on the Rafale is also generations ahead of the Chinese PL-9 missile of the J-10C in every aspect. The RBE-2 radar of the Rafale has a higher detection range, and is equipped with the much more advanced 200 km range meteor missile, while the Chinese PL-15 missile powered by conventional rocket motor, cannot use its full potential due to a weak radar system. The Rafale aircraft has already been used in combat operations, which cannot be said in case of the J-10C. India is working to establish a depot-level Rafale maintenance facility in India, and the entire world knows about the poor serviceability spares availability and engine issues of Chinese origin aircraft. INS Kavarati Anti-Submarine Warfare Corvette of the Indian Navy has sailed out on 29 December after successful completion of GRDD and Kavub's modification works that was completed 18 days ahead of contractual schedule by Hindustan Shipyard Limited. INS Kavarati was commissioned on 22nd of October 2020, and is the last of four Kamatu class anti-submarine corvettes built under Project 28. Indian researchers have developed two high-performance industry standard model for aluminium gallium nitride high electron mobility transistors, which can be used to make high-power radio frequency circuits. 
the aluminium gallium nitride high electron mobility transistors have become the technology of choice for high frequency and high power applications like radar systems base stations and satellite communications. The Chinese army has started the deployment of autonomous ground vehicles in the occupied Tibet region along the Indian border, that includes the Sharp Claw unmanned ground vehicle that is armed with a light machine gun, and around 120 mule 200 unmanned delivery vehicle. China has also deployed 150 Lynx all-train troop carrying vehicles, and 70 VP-22 armored military vehicles to supplement these unmanned vehicles. I'm <laughs> sorry.